What's up guys, it's CJ Lipstrew from Pocketnow.com and today we're looking at a Windows Phone app for language enthusiasts, particularly those who like to use the Google Translate portal on the web. The Google Translate website allows you to enter a word, phrase, sentence, and so on, and it'll actually translate them into a number of different languages. Very useful if you're trying to learn or communicate in a foreign language. So last month we checked out the official Google Translate application for Android and found it to be quite robust. Google hasn't released an official app for Windows Phone, so one developer actually decided to make a comparable app on his own. Alright, so I apologize if I'm butchering the pronunciation, but I believe this app is appropriately called Anuvaduck which is Hindi for translator. And as you can see, it looks very similar to the Android Google Translate app we looked at before. So let me bring in this Verizon Droid Incredible here so I can give you a quick overview of the Android version. And then I'll go over the new Windows Phone equivalent so you can see the resemblance. All right, at the top here, we have the text entry field. So let's just erase that by pressing this X and now we have a microphone that's actually for speech to text so you can speak to your device and it'll fill out the uh, text for you very cool feature and unfortunately this Windows mobile version does not have that feature but I did speak to the developer and he mentioned that he's actively working on implementing this feature in a future release so that's great news moving on we have this button over here to reverse the input and output languages and we can change lang languages by pressing the middle button over there and of course we have the translate button so over here I already have a phrase that I looked up which is uh, where is the bathroom in Spanish and it gave me donde esta el baño so we can actually press this little speaker over here donde esta el baño and as you can hear, it does pronounce it for you. So a very cool feature. So let's move that to the side and drill into this Windows Mobile version. So up here we have the similar text entry field and we can press that X button just like in the Android version to get rid of any text that we input there. Under that we have a feature called Enable Instant Translation. This is an alpha and I believe it helps boost the speed of translation if you're on a very slow connection. Over here we have the similar uh, reverse language button and next to that we have our input and language options. So right now it's set to English for input and French for output. I want to change output to a different language so I'm going to go ahead and press that. As you can see there are a ton, a ton of languages. I actually counted over 50 of them. So we'll go back up to the top here and I'll go with Spanish. And I'll go ahead and type in where is the bathroom, just like in the Android version. Put a question mark. That looks good. We'll press translate. Ah, okay, and there it is. Translation, donde esta el baño? If you recall, it's the same as the Android version. And under it, it has the English input language we put. So if we actually tap on that, we get some other options. We can listen to it. Donde esta el baño? And as you can hear, it's the same robotic voice that we get on the Android version. So very good, good feature to uh, port over to this version. Let's go over here. We can copy to the clipboard in case you wanted to mail it. We can actually send an SMS with the translated included. Very cool. and we can translate to another language so if we wanted to pick another language we could do that and finally let's go ahead and reverse the languages and I'm going to type in 
Ola, which should be hello, there it is, in English. So let's go ahead and listen to that with the text-to-speech option. Sorry, I was speaking. Hello. So it works very well. So this was a look at a Google Translate app for Windows Phone. It brings many of the cool features found in the official version we've seen for Android, and I've got to say that this version seems more powerful and looks better than many I've seen in the past for Windows Mobile. And the best part of it is that it's free. As usual, I'll post a link on pocketnow.com. Thanks for watching.